Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use a retrieval, how to do a query retrieval using a subquery. And in this, we use the same table in the main query and the subquery. So for example, we have a data set here. With this data set of customers' products and customers who purchase products, what we'd like to do is so we'd like to get a list of all customer numbers for customers who buy at least one part purchased by the customer C2. So looking at this data set here, so here is the list of all the customers and the parts that they've purchased. So now first we want to find out all the parts purchased by the customer C2 and that is uh, the parts P1 and P2 as you can see C2 has purchased P1 and P2 and now we want to find out all the customers who have purchased either P1 or P2 and if you look at this table here that is basically customer C1 has purchased both P1 and P2 and then C3 and C4 have purchased P2 so our result set should include C1, C2, C3 and C4 and so we want to write a query to do that. So here is um, a potential solution. So first, uh, let's focus on the subquery. So we're getting all the part numbers from the CP table where the customer number is C2. So this gives us all the uh, parts purchased by the customer C2 and that gives us P1 and P2. So this part of the query gives us the result P1 and P2. And then now we are saying um, select distinct customer numbers from the customer products table where the part number is in the set of P1 and P2. So that means whenever the part number corresponds to either P1 or P2, get the corresponding customer number or CNO or CNO, C number. So that's what this query does. So let's uh, open up our SQLite. As usual, I go to the folder that contains my customers.db file and I type in CMD and that opens up my command prompt. I just open up SQLite 3 and open up the customers.db file and type dot schema to verify that it contains all the necessary tables. So we have the customers table, the products table, and we have the CP table. And now I can just write this query out. For in the interest of time, I'll just copy and paste the query here. And press enter. And now you will see that C1, C2, C3, and C4 have been retrieved as we expected. So here we expected C1, C2, C3, and C4. And obviously we don't want any repetitions. So we use the distinct keyword here and that eliminates repetitions. And so that gives us our answer. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.